Hi, how was your week? Last week we talked about uh, offline resources to learn Spanish and this week I want to tell you about online paid resources to learn Spanish and next week we'll talk about free online resources. So what do I mean about online resources? So online resources is anything we can find in the computer or we can find in the phone. So that means any course that you can access from the, from the website. And most of them nowadays, they have a, an app version. So we can learn on the go. So this is really practical because you have uh, two different ways of learning. So most of the paid courses, they have the version for the computer and for the phone and the app for the phone so these um so these courses are uh, are very complete so usually they include a bit of everything so they have the vocabulary they have uh, readings they have audios and a lot of them nowadays they have a voice recognition system that means that they will ask you to to speak to repeat a sentence and they will tell you if you are pronouncing more or less well of course that's not the same as talking to, to a person, but at least you can do some kind of speaking through these, uh, through these online courses. So uh, most of them, uh, a lot of them, or most of them, I guess, they have a free trial. So the best I recommend you is that you sign up for all of them, you do the free trial for all of them, and then you decide which one you want to join. Why? Because they have different methods for learning. Uh, I think I already we already talked a little bit about this before that we don't all learn in the same way. Like some people need to uh, understand the grammar to learn a language, while other people can learn a language only by reading, by listening, by speaking. So I'm in the first group. I need to understand the grammar. I actually like to, to understand the grammar, to understand how the language works. But a lot of people can learn without this. So there are courses that have some grammar explanations, some grammar lessons, while others focus more on natural learning. Also, what I've seen is that uh, some of some of the courses in the lower levels, when they start, when they give you new vocabulary, they translate the word. While there are other courses that never gives you any translation, but they uh, associate the, the new words to images. So it's like joining the word with the concept, not the word in Spanish with the word in English, but the word in Spanish with the image, with the concept. So you learn to relate the Spanish words to things, objects, ideas, but you don't directly translate to English. So depending on which method fits you the best, then one course or the other will be the best for you. So in the next uh, month, when I start talking about detailed resources, I will tell you about the, the courses that I've tried. I haven't done any full course. As I told you last week, I'm learning through books mostly, but I've done the free trial of many of these courses so I could see how they work, how they teach, and I could tell you also uh, what I think is the best and the worst of each of these courses. So in the next months, when we go into more detail into the, the resources, then I will tell you in detail which are the courses I've tried and how I think uh, they work and how they can help you. And that's, uh, that's everything for today. I will see you next week with more energy, more learnings, and a lot of new experiences. So have a great week. See you next week. Bye.